Good morning. Hello. Welcome to a new vlog, a new week, and this week did not get off to a good start. Hot girl winter is just not hot girl wintering. I woke up sore throat, running a fever. Awesome, but I'm feeling better today. That was yesterday. And it was that time of month. It was just like all the, oh, come on, couldn't get your break. But I'm better today, and I washed my hair with that Living Proof Detox Shampoo. It did wonderfully. This is my hair air dried and brushed out and <sighs> frizz ball mode. So I didn't do any product in it at all because we're gonna do a little toning today. I'm gonna use the Overtone Pastel Silver in the front and then I think I'm gonna put a little bit of the Extreme Silver through the back and just tone things up because we're looking a little, a little reddish, a little brassy, you know, let's see what it does. So I've just trimmed my hair, actually. Trimmed out some dead ends, nipped, nipped off some of the damaged bits, and yeah. So I'm gonna section my hair off and color it. Let's uh, let's just get started on this. I'm just gonna speed through this because it's it's a boring process. Watch me just put hair color in, so I'm just gonna whiz through, see how it turns out. I'm gonna leave it in for quite some time. Let it really absorb. So, yeah, let me get these open and show you what they look like. Here's a look at Extreme Silver. It looks pretty dark, but it doesn't go on that, that dark. I've already got it all over my fingers. It has a kind of a purpley blue undertone. It looks really pretty. I think this is going to look quite nice. And it's not insanely strong and will, of course, fade. Pastel silver. I've used pastel silver before, so I know it tones the light part of my hair pretty well. But this comes out more of a light lavender color. Or looks more like a light lavender silver. So, let me go ahead and get the hair divided up and get started. Okay, I think I got my whole head saturated. Here's hoping that it does something. I just want some toning. Just a little toning. I don't, I'm not asking for miracles. I'm just asking for some cooling off of things. The color of my hands looks promising. Okay, I'm going to leave this on for a few hours. Let it really soak in there. And my hair does need the hydration and the treatment side of this stuff too. So, Alright, I'm going to get my, my hands washed. Okay, here we are in the uh, some light. Oh, God. Let's go. Uh, so we're gonna let this just chill. I'm gonna leave it for quite a few hours and we'll see where things end up. Yes, pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, you see how thin my hair is? Yeah. Ugh. It's gotten so much better though. Maybe I should focus a little more of the rosemary oil and stuff here. I've always had thin hair like right there and it's super annoying, but. I'll see you later and hopefully we look a little more presentable. <laughs> okay, and here is the hair done. Uh, the curls were happy for one thing. <laughs> wow, look at them. Look at them. Ringlets, hello, hi. Haven't seen those in a little while because the hair's not been very happy. But it's all nice and conditioned and we did the, the good reset wash and a very very conditioning toning session so we have some very toned silvery tone hair <laughs> uh, yeah loving it loving it I also did I don't know if I mentioned I did trim out some split ends and all of that jazz so things are just a little happier in the hair region and I love it and I did this look today I decided to go cool tone in order of the the hair <laughs> And yeah, I'm uh, some good hair day today. Good hair day. A little wild, but good. And uh, yeah, that's that's all I've done today is this makeup look and some computer work. My husband's currently at jury duty, so I'm bored. And now I have nothing to do. So <laughs> yeah, I just I wanted to show you the little hair journey and what I was up to. So I'll check in with you later if we get into anything. A little more entertaining. I do need to run to Target, return those shoes, 
this week. I think Lila's cooking dinner tomorrow night. And I don't know. I don't know what else the uh, week has entailed, but look at these curls. Look at them. Look at the front parts curled. They never curl, <laughs> no matter how hard I try. And you know, I didn't even do anything any different than what I've been doing aside from I didn't use Miss Jessie's. I use my good old trusty Mark Anthony products that never fail me. And yeah, things come out good. It's bouncy and curly and happy. <sighs> All right. I'll see you later. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Okay. <sighs> Good morning. Now we get, I feel like I didn't really start this vlog off like a normal vlog. I just kind of like randomly checked in there yesterday after showing you throwing some hair dye in my hair. But I feel like it's just the vlog didn't get going right. I don't know. It just felt weird. But anyways, good morning. It is leg day and I need to get ready for that. And I also have some errands to run. And my face is very angry because I wore a particular SPF two days in a row. Well, actually, it's a foundation. It's the It Cosmetics CC Nude Glow. And whatever SPF is in it, my skin is a little reactive to, so I get a little hivey. I can wear it one day, no problems. But if I do it two days in a row, nope. Very angry. So I'm, I'm very itchy today. So I need to uh, do some very soothing things to this. And uh, yeah, we got our protein coffee going. A lot of coffee in it. and mm, I need, It could use some milk, but I'm out of milk because that's one of the errands we have to run today is getting groceries. So uh, I thought we could just get ready together for gym time and just kind of hang out. All right, I'm taking some of this, the uh, Colin Rothschild Micro Mineral Soothing Toner because oh gosh. Good lord, good goodness, because my skin needs it. <laughs> Brain broke. I also used micellar water on my face, and just like plain micellar water on my skin also. It's not like that, but I had goofed my makeup yesterday, so I removed like the bottom half of it with that, and that always makes me a little itchy too, for some reason. Like the, it's the, just the regular Garnier micellar water. I just always keep some on hand just to like clean swatches off and stuff. Every now and then I use it on my face if I mess up and uh, it doesn't always go well. So I've got a double whammy of things that anchor my skin. Feeling all back to normal now with the sinus issue. I don't know what that was. I guess it was, uh, I think it may have just been some severe allergies. I'm not sure. But apparently there's been controlled burns, and there's a wildfire, and the air quality's been real poor, so that must have played into everything. Or, I don't know, my husband was sick though, so maybe I caught something from him. I don't know, didn't matter, because I'm all better. Alright, we're taking some of the green magic. Hopefully you can see the skin of this herbivore. And supposedly, I will be getting a Sephora package order in today. I'm going to, allegedly, going to... UPS, we'll see about that. I don't trust it because it just shipped yesterday. Because odds are it's going to be like, oh, wait, no, tomorrow. <laughs> just kidding. Get y'all excited for nothing. Do this. Peter Thomas Roth, the eye cream is the ultimate solution. Ultimate 5 solution, whatever it's called. Multitasking eye cream. Yeah, actually, that Herbivore does make my skin feel a lot better when it's itchy. It is quite comforting. I'm ceramides in it or whatever. It does something. So my skin immediately feels, oh, kind of soothed and less itchy. I completely forgot about the my reaction to that SP or to that <laughs> It Cosmetics Nude Glow. I always forget that it happens. And um, put it back on again yesterday and e <laughs> oopsie. Eye cream is so nice because it just sinks so quickly in. Like it just whoop, right on into the skin. And we'll take Shiseido Vital Perfection Uplifting and Firming Advanced Cream. I don't believe this is refillable. It looks like the thing comes out. Oh, the smell of this makes me so happy. I don't know why, but it just. <laughs> it is a very uplifting fragrance in a non traditional way. Like it's a very perfume fragrance. It smells expensive. It makes me very happy. I'm also happy to say that I think my curls survived the night pretty well. 
in a very <laughs> hardcore nap yesterday. I took a nap uh, yesterday afternoon and then got up for a little while and went right back to bed. <laughs> I hate when I do that, but I need to get back on a more of a day schedule. So I just like tried to sleep <laughs> and I slept a good bit. So I slept like 16 hours when I was sick. I took, yeah, I took NyQuil. I, I don't even know if NyQuil actually has something in it. It makes you sleepy. But it must because NyQuil sure does knock me out. Like, knock me out good. And then I get a hangover from it. It is the worst. I hate taking NyQuil, but I was I was running a fever and I felt bad. and It was better than nothing. I, I, I would prefer the DayQuil if I had to take something. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of run through the rest of the makeup. And just show you what I'm putting on. I'm going to go ahead and put on a little bit of SPF. This is the Kinship one. That's my plan today, though, is a nice leg day, gym sesh, errands. I'll probably sneak a little nap in at some point. And I believe my friend is cooking dinner tonight. Yeah, let's uh, speed through this makeup. It's, I'm not doing anything particularly special. Just truly just kind of some everyday makeup and reaching for some stuff that I'm just trying to pay in as well. So for complexion today, I think we're going to go with some 4 one Perfector, a bit of the Age Rewind Radiant Serum Foundation with sunscreen, and Age Rewind Concealer. Probably, I'm going to set it down with the Wet n Wild 5-in-1 Essence Primer. Okay, face is on. Let's see what the hair is doing. It's not the worst. I think we could work with this without a refresh. Just a little root fluff and smooth out the frizz. Look at these ringlets I got going on. I'm so proud of them. And then I got this one patch that's like super <laughs> like kinky curly and then like a straightish bit. It's, it's, 
we're doing better than we normally do. I'm not going to complain too much, but I am planning on way at home from all of the gym and everything I do have to film today, actually, after all the errands get ran and all that jazz. Just give each curl clump a little bit of smoothing. Ringlets. Legit ringlets. That I didn't force. <laughs> this this is not curl and iron. This is my my hair when it's happy. See, see, I do have curly hair. It's not just wavy. I told you guys. <laughs> oh, it was just very unhealthy. I'm very unhappy. Nice little root fluff. We're good to go. Okay, and then for the gym, I will just, I think, clip it up out of the way. Your that, I'm just gonna throw in a little pineapple and it will be fine. That's one reason my front always gets a little stretched out is because I pull it up to sleep. Me and my ringlets are gonna go do some computer work and editing until my husband gets up and we'll uh, may have some oatmeal for breakfast and then get to it. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, hello. We are back home. Half the errands got ran because I decided I need a nap. But I did a pretty big leg day and I filmed all of it. <laughs> so the previous clip is everything that I do on my leg day at the beginning of a mesocycle, which means there's only two sets with lower weight and just kind of powered through it. I, my hair is a little crazy because I just took it out of a pineapple and I'm still kind of hivy from the SPF issue. Definitely had a case of the jelly legs <laughs> for a little bit there so I rested for about an hour and then we went and I went returned those loafers to Target and ended up exchanging them <laughs> for 
da, 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 da. boots. <laughs> I know I said I, I needed something other than boots, but I saw these and I had to have them. And they fit me and they have memory foam in them. Look, they're like cowboy boots, but they're they're like nice at the ankle. And this is stretchy, this part. And they're very, very comfortable and pretty. And they had one pair and they were in my size. So I feel like it was meant to be. I tried on other other loafers. I even tried on and had in my buggy the replacement for the, the mules. But then I saw these and I was like, you know, I'm just getting these. Because they're too cool not to get. These are from Universal Thread, actually. Which I don't usually go for that brand very often. Occasionally with their shoes, I do. I have one other pair of like those little cowboy boot looking ones from them. Uh, but these were $40. I'm in six and a half. Six and a half seems to be like my magical size at Target. For the most part, that seems to fit me the best. I have to size up there. I'm usually... Um, well, it depends on the shoe. I can go anywhere from like a size 3 in kids to a 7. It really depends on the, the brand and the shoe. It's so weird. I feel like shoes have gotten more inconsistent in their sizing. Has anyone else noticed that? So that's why I got a Target <laughs> in exchange. While I was in there, I picked up the new bronzer from Milani. The um, Cheek Kiss bronzer I got in the shade Hey Honey. Which is the lightest shade. I've heard great things about this and I love the Cheek Kiss blushes. And why not try another cream bronzer? I, I think, well, I haven't really tried too many cream bronzers, honestly. I have the Charlotte Tilbury one and the e.l.f. one. And then I have like a couple liquid ones. So, yeah, looks like a nice shade for me. Nice, warm, pretty. Oh, yeah, that's a, that's a nice texture. Feels good. Yeah, that's, that's going to be, it's going to be nice. I got, I got a good feeling about it. And while I was in there, I saw Sonic Kashuk has some little poofs, little uh, powder puffs that looked very nice, like this kind of velour style ones, and they were pretty affordable. They were $5 for two, whereas like the elf one that's slightly bigger is the same price. So two small ones for the price of one slightly bigger one. I want to take these out. I want to see how they feel. Allergies. Ooh, the allergies got me. That's what woke me up from my nap. Because I, <laughs> my husband just went, he got, he's currently gone to get his hair cut. I think he's meeting up with a friend for a minute to uh, hang out or catch up with a friend until dinner time because we're going to our other friends for dinner. So I decided to nap, but I, I had a sneeze fit, so that's not happening. And he's been breaking down his old computer, taking it apart and cleaning in the office because he's given that one to a friend. Because his new one is supposed to come tomorrow. We'll see. But anyways, here's the poofs. And I will show you his new computer probably in another vlog. Because I think this one's going to be kind of long. We're going to divide this week up into two vlogs. But these feel nice. They're cushiony. And you can just get right up in there and set your face. Cool. Um, Sony Kashuk makes some of the best tools. If you need affordable makeup tools, brushes sponges, jade roller, gua sha, like any, any of that kind of stuff, storage things, um, travel bags, Sony Kashuk is where it's at because they are affordable, fantastic quality. I mean, I've never had a brush from her tear up on me and I've had some of her brushes for going on 10 years now and they hold up just as well as my Sigma brushes or any other more expensive brushes that I've had and they wash up great. I mean, I wash my brushes constantly. And they they hold up. They are legit, and cannot beat the price on them. So yeah, if you are on a budget and need some really good makeup tools, Target, Target, right there, Sony Kashuk. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's all I got from Target. Wow. Well, I mean, I got a thing of Dr. Teal's and some stuff to go in a giveaway. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I haven't forgotten Emily. I promise. That's the only reason the giveaway is delayed because I needed to go pick up some stuff for it. And <laughs> I just hadn't gotten to the store. I'm sorry. I sound so congested. But Sephora order came in today. So let me show you what I got. I got uh, a sample of the Nest 
fragrances and black tulip i haven't smelled this one yet so i want to try it i did actually have is it honey nectar or something in my cart and i took it out because my girl used the perfume up that you got before it goes bad you buy more so we got this to try out I, i've enjoyed every nest fragrance that i have smelled this is the real flawless weightless perfecting foundation isn't this the one that's like viral that everybody's on about even though it's been out for like a while and i think mallory brooke did a video on it like a year ago anyway i picked this as a as something to try so i got some you know blister pack i think we'll do like a little little test of this and see how it goes in a video i also re-upped on my dr dennis gross advanced retinol and ferulic perfect dose wipes these are uh, pads these are the absolute number one best thing for anti-aging on the market I, s I absolutely swear by these these are like clinical strength like legit good stuff without any irritation they're so good so this is what comes like when you buy it uh, uh, they sent me like the P little PR thing of it and I had these in my cart before I even finished up everything they had sent me because they I think they had sent me like four of each dosage and I fell in love with the results within like two weeks so I mean after first use there was a, a visible change so I went ahead and got the extra strength full pack and this contains how many so this is about two months of treatments I do them yeah, about six six weeks worth of treatments because I do like twice a week you don't have to do them every day um, and they it works great that way and because they're, they're pretty concentrated and strong and yeah they're not an everyday thing for me they're like every couple of days I use them so this will last a little while and they're not extremely expensive if you think about it in that way of you know space them out uh, I think they're around 50 60 dollars I can't remember they're not to me the most expensive thing and they are so effective it's absolutely worth it so got that I got the Kosas cloud skin trio trial thing uh, uh, it's got full-size powder and then a trial size of the concealer and a little sponge so I got it in 1.5 in the revealer concealer which is light with pink undertones and then i got airy in the powder i haven't even opened this yet so let's open her up and take a look see what we got here's a little sponge how cute very cute so nice little nice sponge uh that i probably would have bought it without the sponge being in there that's just an added bonus i because i've been wanting to try the the powder forever and seeing where I could get the powder in a full size with a trial of the concealer. That works out good for me. It's me. Because I, I wanted to try the concealer too because I've heard so many good things. So we got the, the powder and the little concealer. He's your little guy. But look, I got so many concealers. I don't need a full size of a lot of stuff. That is one thing. Like when you review makeup and do I do, you don't really need to buy the full sizes. Because you got so much stuff that's just never going to get used up. So I do really enjoy purchasing minis when I'm trying stuff for myself and to review. So yeah, this is cute. Very cute. Um, there's some fantastic claims. This color looks perfect. When I was looking, reading up on the product, it sounds like something I'm going to like. Oh yeah, that has a nice texture. It's very creamy. A little like sticky feeling. It feels different. Doesn't feel like any uh, concealers that I currently have. So that's... It's going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to trying that out. I've just heard so many rave reviews about the powder. I was like, i got to try that. Everybody's just like swears by it being so amazing. <sighs> I had to get my little phalanges on it. What well, pretty packaging. It's so nice. So minimal looking. I like it. Very sleek. Oh, that looks, that looks so pleasing. Look at that. Oh, it's like, oh, I think this is a baked product. Ooh. That does feel very, very silky. Wow, that feels nice. So I think I'm definitely going to enjoy this. Yeah, this is the Cloud Set in Airy. So we got that to try, and I'm probably going to do like a wear test and review with those things. 
What else did I get? Oh, from Say, I got a trial of the little illuminator. It has a really long name, but it's just their, their skin illuminator. I got it in Star Glow. Glowy is super gel. This is another one of the products I hear a lot about. I haven't tried anything from Say, and Say is another brand that I hear so, so much about. That when I just initially like look at their products, I'm like, I'm not that excited about them. But then I see people talk about how good they are. I'm like, well, I gotta do something to it. I better try it. I better, I might be missing something. And this has a lot of claims as well, like skincare type claims. Ooh, that does feel very hydrating. That, that feels like a water gel, like hydration, like face cream. You know, like a hyaluronic acid type of face cream. Those really lightweight ones. It smells like skincare, like but like strong, but unscented skincare. It smells like a serum. Like, you know, sometimes you get like a hyaluronic acid serum or something. It's got a pungent, not bad smell, but just chemical smell. It definitely has that. That looks pretty. Like a nice little glow on my hand. You can even really see that. Oh, wow. And it just like disappears. You know, like I don't feel it. No greasiness, no nothing. But it leaves a really pretty sheen. Oh. That's nice. I like that color. It's perfect for me. They do have that in two shades. Uh, oh, I got a Valentino <laughs> sample of their mascara because I actually I am so intrigued by Valentino Beauty and like want to try their products, but gosh, on that price point, mm, I don't know. <laughs> it's, I feel come on. But anyway, I got a little trial of the mascara. Anytime I see like when it's super luxury. Mascaras for like where you can trade in points or whatever for it or get a free sample of it I'm gonna do it because I like to compare them to drugstore, but this one has some pretty high claims on the Website, so we'll see if it holds up So it's be smudge proof flake proof super long wear volumizing Like all the things I love the packaging like I like this red. I love the way the Valentino stuff looks and I don't think I've heard any like bad reviews of their products either. Like them being very good quality and worth the price. So taken added and taken so many Valentino products out of my cart. I do that so much with like really high end makeup, like luxury makeup. I just I can't commit to it for the price. I'm like, girl, you know you already have something just like this. You don't need it. <laughs> and I also got a little mini sample of the Charlotte Tilbury. Kissing or K-I-S-S-I-N-G fallen from the lipstick tree. I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, it's the duh. Anyway, got one of those. This is in the shade 90s pink. I really don't have a lot of pink lipsticks. That's why I picked it. You could pick this one or like a reddish shade. And I haven't tried this formula from Charlotte. All I've tried is the, the matte. So this is supposed to be the more like uh, glossy-ish, more satin formula. It's so weird, oh, it's so cute. I love how her, her minis look exactly like the full size, they're metal. Yeah, you know, they don't look cheap or anything, they look like exact replicas, but they're just so small and cute. I think minis are so cute. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, that looks like a good color. That's a good pink. It's supposed to be kind of a brownish, rosy pink. Let's see. I use the viewfinder. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice color. I like that. It's nice. It feels good. It feels like a rough one, super lustrous. But yeah. That's cute. Very cute. And also from Charlotte, I got the Glowgasm face palette. Because <laughs> I love the Nudegasm palette so much. Like, so much. I decided to need the Glowgasm one, too, to round out my color stories. Because the, the Nudegasm is very warm. And I thought, well, this one's got a little more of a pink in it. And looks like it's very pale girl friendly. <laughs> so, the formula in... Newgasm is just amazing. So we'll see what what Glowgasm is like. It is gorgeous <laughs> to look at. 
this shade is really pretty. Look at that. It's like dual chrome. Oh, look at that. <sighs> Very pretty. Yeah, the multi-glow looks awfully similar, and so does the highlight. Maybe a little bit cooler. It has less, like, gold in it. Let's see. We'll see. And the bronzer looks like just a nice bronze that would match me. Yeah, I think that's a little bit lighter. It's less lighter in uh, shade than what's in Nudegasm. It's less goldy. Multi-glow, very pretty. Bronzer appears to be very soft, which I, I don't hate. <laughs> it's really nice. I really want to see what this one in the corner here looks like. Ooh. That's like the cheek pop color. That is like, this is like rose gold. I don't know if you can see that in a swatch. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful. That's the way it hits the, the light hits it. That's pretty. That is pretty. And the component is, of course, very, very pretty. Very luxe. Nice. Nice, nice. And what I'm most excited about is the Hypernatural Face Buff from Natasha Denona. I know, it's a, it doesn't seem like the most exciting thing in the world, but I got really excited about this when I saw it. Because it has a lot of similarities to I Need a Nude, which has become like my number one palette. And there's it's got the sheeny uh, wet shade, wet effect shade in it that's a little bit, it's different than what's in I Need a Nude. It's more of a nice warm champagne. And you've got the rest that are like more satiny shimmer shades. And very smooth and there this new kind of cream gel formula that goes to like a matte feel and yeah they look stunning they look they're much more rich looking in person like online it, they look very pale like this one always looks very very pink when i see it online but it's actually more of a peach color and it's very pretty it has a nice warmth to it and this actually has a little bit more of a brown in it than what you would Think. It looks more like a just a gray, but it's actually more of a taupe. And the blushes look beautiful. The contour high bronzer section looks beautiful. I like the size of this. Everything about this just feels really nice and cohesive and versatile. I'm, just, I'm very excited about it. I like the component. Yeah, I'm, I'm into this. That's my little Sephora haul. <laughs> and yeah, I need to probably touch up a little bit on the face because I have been napping <laughs> but girl I was tired I could not keep my eyes open today I was like look we're just gonna take a short nap and we're gonna try to be able to go to bed at a decent time tonight so that's that was what I did I took only took like an hour and a half nap instead of an eight hour nap <laughs> look when I say nap I'm just going to bed half the time it's I'm just going to bed at a weird time and I just call it a nap. But yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to close this vlog out right here because I feel like it's going to be a little long. If I continue going the rest of the week and then I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. And I cannot wait to play with these new goodies. I'm definitely going to be getting my little paws into these uh, this week. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe. And stay spooky. Bye now.